Hi, I'm Daniel Foley. In this video, I want to talk about a revelation that really changed my life. So I'm on the phone one day with my grandpa, and he's telling me what he's been up to, and he says, you know, this morning for breakfast, I had Romans chapter 8. And he said, yeah, that was my breakfast. I had Romans chapter 8 for breakfast. And I'm thinking, oh, okay. And he says, you should read Romans chapter 8. You should read it right now. And he said, you should read it at least twice, maybe more than that. And so I get out my Bible and I start reading, and I'm reading Romans chapter 8. And there's a lot of good stuff in Romans chapter 8. I read it all the way through, and I come back again like he told me to, and I start reading it again. And when I get to verse 11, it just jumps off the page at me, and I get this revelation that I had not seen before, which is Romans 8, 11, the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead lives in you, and it will bring life to your mortal body. Think about that. The same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead lives in you, and it will bring life to your mortal body. And so sometimes people say, whoa, I don't know if that's, that verse can't be true. I'm, you know, I don't see life happening in my mortal body. Or they'll say, hey, this is just way out in the future one day. And I've started to get more and more revelation on this verse. And I would say it's, it's really been life-changing for me. So you see a lot of these parables that Jesus talks about in the Bible. You know that uh, you know the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that was planted and it grows up into be a large tree. Or the uh, kingdom of heaven is like a, a pearl that someone finds and goes and sells everything and buys that treasure. Or, or a treasure hit, found in a field and they go and buy everything. Well, the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead was put in you, was put in your heart as a seed. Okay, that's the, that's the parable of this. The same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, the spirit of Jesus, was put in your heart as a seed. Okay, And in a seed is everything needed to do everything that Jesus did. So Jesus said you could do everything he did and greater. But people are like, well, I don't believe that's true because I'm not seeing it. Or I'm not seeing it all the time. Or sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Well, like I said, that same power, that same spirit that raised him from the dead is in you, but it's planted as a seed. And we've got to start to make that seed grow. So how do we make that seed grow so that we start to see this is bringing life to my flesh you know, on a daily basis? How do I make it grow? Number one, Book of Philemon says, Your faith is made effective by the acknowledgement of every good thing that's in you. Okay, so what is in you? So Christ is in you, the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. It has everything you need in you. And when you acknowledge that, it starts to become effective. It makes your faith effective. Okay, so that's the first thing. And then the next thing is, is after you acknowledge it, you're going to have to start to practice. You're going to have to, the more you practice it and the more you cultivate it, just like, you're, just like with gardening, the more you cultivate it, the more it's going to start to produce. So you're going to have to acknowledge it, number one, and then you're going to have to go out and you're going to have to practice and start to acknowledge that and put it into practice by speaking. Hey, you know what, that, that same power that raised Jesus from the dead is in me. You know, I can overcome anything and it will bring life to my body. But a lot of times we get doubtful, number one. You know, we haven't made a decision to believe that what this says is true because we don't see it yet. So that's not the way it works. In the Bible, uh, you know, in the world, it goes, you know, first I'll see it and then I'll believe it. But that's not the way it goes with God. It's He's a God of faith and the righteous will live by faith. And so you got to believe it first and then you'll see it. So if you're saying, well, I don't believe it because I'm not seeing it yet. Well, that's, you're never going to see it because it's not going to work. First, you got to believe and then you're going to start to have to practice and acknowledge it and walk it out. And then it's going to grow and develop and it will get bigger and bigger. And you'll start to see that, hey, it's bringing life to my flesh. And so this verse, like I said, is a revel you know, revelation that changed my life. And it's just this concept that you have everything in you that you need. But it's all in seed form. So you've got all the love, all the joy, all the peace, all the patience, all the kindness, all the goodness, all the faith. All of that that you will ever need. You have it inside of you, but it's in seed form, and we have to make it grow. Number one, how do we do it? Acknowledge that it's there. So, you know, oh Lord, give me patience. No, that's wrong. He already gave you patience, but it's in seed form. you got to develop it and make it grow. Acknowledge that he put patience in there, and then start to cultivate it. Start practicing being more patient. Okay? If you, you're talking about health, start practicing being healthier. Get up and do some stuff that you couldn't do before. Go for a walk. Start to move. Start to eat healthier. Start to put it into practice. The more you practice this, the faster it grows and the more it cultivates and the more it will become a reality in your life. So you've got all these things. You've got the same power that Jesus had living in you, but it has to be cultivated for you to see it. Remember, you've got to believe it first and then you can see it. So I hope this video was helpful for you. 
If it was, I ask you that you, you know, you like it, you share it, and help us to get this message out to more people.